Eve Russell. Eve! Guess who? Oh, Ivy, what a surprise. I thought you'd drowned. Well, lucky for you, I'm an excellent swimmer. You shouldn't have abandoned me, Eve. Julian almost found me on the boat. Oh, I wish he had. Then this whole nightmare would be over. Well, for some people, perhaps, but not for you. Now, if I'd been caught, the first words out of my mouth would have been your name. How do you think Grace and Sam would feel if they knew that I was only on Sam's boat because of your excellent tip? Oh, how dare you put me in the position to betray my closest friends? No, you put yourself in that position years ago by sleeping with Julian. And now you have to pay the piper by helping me get Sam into my bed. No, I'm not going to betray her again. Not after seeing how upset she was on the dock. I'm not going to do it, Ivy. I would really reconsider that, Eve. Unless, of course, you want your husband, your daughters, and <laughs> the community to know that you're nothing but a common whore. Yes, I'll be talking to you soon, good doctor. Sam! I need to speak to you about last night. What about it? It wasn't the fog that ruined my sailing trip with Grace. It was Ivy. Ivy? Yeah, she snuck on the boat before I got there. And when I boarded, I heard the shower running, so I assumed it was Grace. So I set sail. Oh, no. When I realized it was Ivy, I headed the boat back to shore. Even though she did everything in her power to keep me there. It was all I could not to throw her overboard. I'm so sorry, Sam. Eve, why are you sorry? Eve, why are you sorry about Ivy's latest pathetic effort to seduce me? Oh, uh, I just meant that I... Look, I blame her and whoever told her that Grace and I plan to go sailing. If I ever find out who's giving Ivy the ammunition to try to hurt my marriage, God help them. So you think that Ivy hasn't given up? <sighs> I used to. Not anymore. I mean, if anything, she's stepping up the program to try to get me to cheat on Grace. Eve, I am at wit's end here. I really need your help. You're a woman. And you're my wife's best friend. How do I get Ivy to stop trying to destroy my marriage? I wish that I could help you, Sam, but Ivy just doesn't seem like someone who's amenable to reason. She's not. I've told her repeatedly that I have no interest in picking up where we left off years ago. But it's, it's like she doesn't listen. She just doesn't want to. She's so used to getting her own way. Well, she's not this time. I'll do anything I can to keep her from hurting Grace. I, I almost told Grace the whole story last night. She didn't feel like talking. She just wanted to be close. Sam, I never saw Grace so worried as she was on that dock, waiting for you to come in. I was never so happy to see anyone as I was when I saw her. <laughs> she's my life, Eve. And I'm not going to let Ivy destroy it. What are you going to do? Well, for starters, I'm not going to tell anybody where I plan to go have a vacation with Grace. Except for you and TC, of course. I mean, but that's safe. I'm so sorry, Sam. I mean, I'm, I'm just so sorry that you have to go through all of this. So am I. But, um, thanks. I'm, I'm going to let you know. Is good news. Sam will keep telling you all about his secret getaways, and you can tell me. You're just out of your mind. Didn't you learn anything at all from last night, Ivy? Julian came that close to catching you. Well, I'll just be more careful next time, that's all. Well, since you were eavesdropping, didn't you just hear Sam say that he doesn't want anything to do with you? Oh, that's what he says now. But I know something that'll change his mind and his heart. Ivy, there is nothing that you can say or do that is going to make Sam want you. Actually, there is. But the price tag, it's a little steep, and I'm not quite sure I'm ready to pay it just yet.